Biblical Reasons Why We Should Pray for Ukraine Some of you may be asking yourself why you should be concerned about what is going on in the country of Ukraine right now. Ukraine, located in Eastern Europe, may be thousands of miles from where you are, but the war in Ukraine will have global consequences. It will affect our economic and social lives, geopolitical alliances, and world peace. It will somehow affect us or the people we love and care for. The Apostle Paul teaches us in Romans 14, 7 to 8 that we don't leave for ourselves or die for ourselves. If we leave, it is to honor the Lord. And if we die, it is to honor the Lord. So, whether we leave or die, we belong to the Lord. What Paul is saying to us in this text is that as believers in Jesus Christ, we cannot put a wall between us and other believers. We all belong to the Lord, and we are together in whatever circumstances we go through. We may not be able to help them physically, but we can spiritually help them through our prayers. 1 Timothy 2 1 to 4 exhorts us i urge you first to pray for all people ask god to help them intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity this is good and pleases god our savior who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth Praying for the people of Ukraine means that we are sharing one another's burden and obeying the commandment of Jesus Christ for us to love others as we love ourselves. How should you pray for Ukraine? Pray to our God who reigns above the nations, Psalm 47. 8. Pray for the civilian population, especially women, children, and the elderly, that they will be safe wherever they are. Some may be staying at home while others may have gone to the neighboring countries as refugees. Pray that they have food to eat, water to drink, medicines for their health maintenance, and adequate shelter. Pray, too, that their human rights will be protected as agreed upon by all nations in the Geneva Convention relative to the protection of civilian persons in time of war. Pray that the International Committee for the Red Cross and the peacekeeping missions of the United Nations will be able to help them and keep them safe wherever they are. Pray for the church leaders, servants, and missionaries for courage, boldness, and strength. Pray that the Lord's promise to Isaiah in Isaiah 41, 10 will also cover them. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Pray that the Lord will keep them safe and enable them to continue praying for people and reaching out to those who need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ during this uncertain time. Pray for the military people and reservists who are fighting the war. Pray that they will always remember that the Lord of the armies, the Almighty God, is their refuge and strength and is ready to help them in times of trouble. Pray for courage, wisdom, and hope that God can cause war to end throughout the earth and for them to be comforted with the knowledge that He is God, and He will be honored by every nation throughout the world. Psalm 46. Pray for Vladimir Putin, the President of Russia, Volodymyr Zelensky, President of Ukraine and other world leaders. Ask God to help them to enlighten them on the repercussions of their decisions, intercede on their behalf, ask God to bless them with wisdom, and give thanks for them, thank God that you can pray for these leaders. The Bible urges us to pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. 1 Timothy 2 1-2 Pray also that God will overrule these leaders' plans that the Sovereign Lord who made the heavens and earth by his strong hand and powerful arm, the great and powerful God, the Lord of heaven's armies, who see the conduct of all people will give them what they deserve. Jeremiah 32, 17-19 Pray for Christians in Ukraine that they will be the salt of the earth 
and the light of the world, Matthew 5, 13 to 14, that even in the midst of chaos, confusion, and suffering, they will remain steadfast in their faith, and look forward with hope for the end of this conflict and the return of peace, not only in Ukraine, but to the rest of the world. God bless and protect Ukraine and its people, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.